Welcome back everyone. Today I'm going to show you how I make simple bushes and hedgerows for my wargaming table. I like using a variety of different materials and mixing it up as I'm making these hedges to give a more realistic, a little more random, natural look to my bushes. So I'll just walk you through the process I use. First things first, we need something to base our hedges on. So I'm going to be using these large popsicle sticks. And I'm going to be using a combination of lichen and some cork fiber that you find in planters, some natural there uh, shrubs and twigs, and also just plain old clump foliage that you can get from many terrain manufacturers. So the first bush I'm going to make here is from the cocoa fiber planter, which you can get from any garden center. It's used for hanging planters um, that you put on your porch or whatnot. So I'm just going to cut it with some scissors, and you can cut into squares or or uh, circles depending on what you want the silhouette of your bush to look like but here I'm just rounding the edges a little bit and then you're just going to pull apart the fibers of this cocoa fiber planter and it comes in many different layers or like five or six layers of the cocoa laid on top of one another so as you pull it apart you can really define whatever shape you want you can leave it a little bit more compact to have uh, I guess more dense bushes or like I am doing here you can pull it very thin and out in multiple directions a good a nice open airy bush that you can see pretty far into the structure and then if you use uh, some lighter turf flock you can get uh, simulate bushes with small leaves and flowers on it and things like that so it's good to mix this in with your clump foliage and your lichen uh, which are denser by nature so here's the bush that i'm satisfied with i think it is nice open airy has a very natural looking silhouette very kind of random so now I, all I have to do is add this to my wax paper. So I am putting some PVA glue on the back of the cocoa fiber just to give it a nice flat foundation to put onto my popsicle stick when the time comes. So just to give it a nice even foundation. That's the only reason I do that. So now I'm going to be making my lichen bushes. I'm just going to be taking clumps of lichen. I like to take the rounded top portions of the lichen to make my bushes. They're a little bit more compact, have a little bit more uh, shape to them and so I'm just gluing them together with a hot glue gun here until I get a silhouette that I like and after I formed all my bushes using the cocoa fiber and the lichen I'm going to go ahead and start working on my bases here of the popsicle stick which I'm just going to spray with some uh, adhesive and then put a little bit of sand on it and then I'm going to spray paint it espresso brown with this Krylon camouflage color here so once that's dried, I'm going to go ahead and dry brush the popsicle stick. And here I'm using a different color than usual. I'm using a mid-tone color that is yellow ochre. And I'm using this because I, since my bushes are going to be very lush, very verdant, I want something that can carry on that theme. All right, so I'm using kind of a yellow-green color there. Then I'm just going to go over the popsicle stick one more time with my buff titanium as my really high highlight. Of course, wiping off most of the paint and really just lightly dry brushing the top of the grit there to give a little bit more contrast. So here are all my bushes after I also sprayed them espresso brown so that if any, if you can see through the flock, it'll look like that they are branches or whatnot. And here actually you can see with my cocoa fiber bush, I actually sprayed it down with some adhesive and then put a little bit of two millimeter flock on there. And I think it looks really good as like a thorny bush, like I don't know, like a rose bush or something like that. I think I'll use it on my chaos army as kind of rugged wasteland terrain. So that was something cool that I discovered in this process. But anyways, to make just your normal bush here, I'm taking that cocoa fiber, spraying it with some adhesive. Here I'm going to use coarse foliage to kind of give a denser look to my bush. You can also use some of the fine turf and get a completely different look to your bush. And I'll show that here in a minute. But here I'm just coating the entirety of this hedge and I'm allowing some of the, that cocoa fiber to poke through and making sure that there's a little bit that you can see into so that you can kind of see the structure of the bush. It looks like there's little twigs and branches hanging out, which I think helps with the realism. And here you go. You can see the kind of the finished product of the bush. Although I am going to go over it and do one high highlight using some burnt grass from Woodland Scenics and also some, some of the earth blend that they have. So now we're moving on to the lichen bush here and I'm going to be using the blended green from 
Woodland Scenics, and this is a fine turf, so it's going to have a much different look than that cork bush we just made. There's not going to be as much kind of leafy foliage on it. It's going to be a little bit more compact, and it's going to kind of follow the silhouette of the lichen just a little bit more. And so here you see the two different bushes, and as you can see, you get two completely different looks using these different kinds of materials and flock. And since they are such a different color, and I'm actually combining them on the same hedge, I'm going to try and match the colors a little closer by pouring a little bit more of the burnt grass on both of the hedges, as well as a little bit more of that blended earth. So for my next hedge, I'm going to use a variety of different techniques to get a really varied look to my hedge. So first, I'm taking here just some lichen and adding some here coarse foliage instead of the fine stuff that we used before to get a more fuller look, and then highlighting it with some burnt grass and then placing it on here onto my popsicle stick. And then I'm going to go, and here's just some classic clump foliage that I sprayed with some adhesive. And I'm just coating this with that fine turf, that uh, blended green turf, and that gives a nice rounded look kind of big leafy sections also really good if you're trying to simulate conifers using this uh this clump foliage and i do recommend though pouring on some some flock not just taking it straight and adding it i don't think uh, really clump foliage looks that great on its own and so here you see me combining that uh that clump foliage with our lichen bush and now we are going to add one of our cocoa fiber bushes and here i'm using fine turf instead of coarse turf and if you notice it gives really nice stringy thin foliage to look like a flowering bush of some sort and so to further stimulate that after i put this burnt grass down i'm going to just pour lightly on some gale force 9 meadow i think meadow flowers i think is what it's called and uh, make it look like a, either a uh, a flowering bush like some honeysuckle or another kind of bush with some bright yellow leaves and then I'm finally going to just attach some lichen on its own. Lichen, I think, can be used sparingly to simulate bushes without adding any flock, and it can look pretty decent. So here you go. Here's what happens when you combine all those techniques onto one bush. Now you can do this, and you can make very varied, very random, I think, natural-looking hedges. Or if you prefer, you can just use one type of material for each hedge, or maybe just mix and match two different types of materials. It's really up to you, whatever you think aesthetically looks pleasing. So here are my finished bushes, and I put down some 28 millimeter figures just so that you can see how these are great at breaking the line of sight on your table, breaking up your table into different quadrants, things like that. And they're really easy to make. You can use materials that you probably have at your hobby desk already, mix and match them to different degrees to simulate the randomness of nature, and using some different kinds of flocks, you can have a variety of different bushes that you can simulate. Hopefully you're able to pick something up from this, a tip or two. And if you enjoyed this video, please do like, hit that subscribe button, and I will be back soon with some more terrain videos for you guys. Take care.